Hello, I want to talk to you for a minute about the Department of Motor Vehicles hearing that we have coming up. With the Department of Motor Vehicles, we have an administrative hearing. That is a hearing that's conducted by the DMV. There's no judge, there's no lawyer uh, on the DMV side. The hearing officer, the quote unquote hearing officer, is just a DMV employee. The DMV employee may have started as a hearing officer or they may have started in a field office doing driving tests or giving out paperwork and then promoted up to a hearing officer position. The hearing officer is not law trained, they didn't go to law school and they're not a judge. They do decide the facts of the case, the evidence, they also rule on the admissibility of evidence. So they kind of act as a judge, but they're not a judge. So they control what comes in and what doesn't, and they ultimately make a decision on whether the license should or should not be suspended. DMV hearings are somewhat informal. I still would recommend if you're coming to the DMV to dress up, wear you know, nice clothes, a suit and tie if you have it, or business-like attire. But it is somewhat informal as there's the hearing just takes place in the hearing officer's office. Usually they'll have a couple of desks that are pushed together. They'll be on one side, we'll be on the other. The hearing officer will have a computer, they'll have a phone, and they'll also have a recorder. They use a CD recorder right now where they record the hearings. So everything has to be out loud. They'll mark exhibits. And the hearing times are usually scheduled for a one hour period. Sometimes we have witnesses, which may be a police officer or an expert witness, sometimes we don't. But the hearing is typically scheduled for one hour and when we go to the DMV, we'll go in, we'll sit down in the hearing officer's office across the desk from them and the hearing officer will start with their side of the case, which will typically be looking at the sworn statement of the officer. They'll uh, usually admit the statement and police reports. They'll also have a current driving record printout to see whether there's any other actions against the license or prior DUIs. And they will introduce these documents to prove their case. Then the burden will shift to us where we can uh, attack their documentation and their evidence or we can put on our own evidence which may be an expert or maybe your testimony. After we do this, we will then make a closing argument showing where the Department of Motor Vehicles case is deficient, what they're missing, and why the case should be set aside. And that's DMV talk or administrative hearing talk for, for not guilty. So we want a set aside at the DMV, which means that they set aside or move to the side the suspension and they would reinstate the license and give that back. The Department of Motor Vehicles hearing officers do not make a decision on the spot. At the DMV hearing, they will take the matter under submission and they will think about it. So they will review the documents, they'll review the arguments and evidence at the hearing, and it usually takes them about seven to 10 days to make a decision, type it up, and mail it out. When they mail it out, they'll mail a copy to you and a copy to me. And when we get that, at the top, it will say notice of findings and decision. And it will either say that the matter is sustained, which means the license will be suspended, and it'll have a date, or it will say the matter is set aside, and you can apply to get the license back for a, a nominal fee. If you have questions about the DMV process, about the hearing that's coming up, please give me a call. You can reach me at 310-424-3145, 310-424-3145, or email me mark at mrduila.com. Thank you for your time, and I look forward to seeing you at the DMV.